Exclamation everybody and welcome uh, to Space Mercs. <laughs> I would I would say the full title, but I have no idea how to pronounce that guy's name or person's name anyway. <laughs> I, I'm assuming assuming things I shouldn't be assuming. Uh, it is by a bearded giant games and um, I've played a little bit of this before recording. I play it with the mouse and keyboard. I'm going to try it with the controller. I can just tell you that the mouse controls not great, not great at all. Um, but what we'll do is uh, we'll jump into a quick battle and then I will try a mission, but the missions are actually really, really difficult. The quick battle actually I'll probably last a little bit longer in it. So let's just do that. All right, reduce the enemy's battle points to zero. So this is my first time with the controller. Let's see how this works. Okay, that's that. That's the normal thing. So what's the... Okay, A is the boost. That's good. And the other buttons don't seem to do anything. That's fine. Okay, okay. Lots of, lots and lots of bloom. <laughs> uh, and over, you might say, an overabundance of bloom right now. I feel like I'm watching Star Trek Discovery at the moment. <laughs> lens flares. Who needs lens flares? Okay. Um. So. Uh. I. I guess I should. Let's see if I can actually kill somebody here. That would be great. Um. Let's see, kill him. Even. Even. I mean, it's. It's certainly working with the controller, but. Uh, not uh, not working well with the controller. Um, things aren't really lining up too well here. It suffers from what a lot of games suffer from. A lot of space games that are early on. And, and again, I should point out, this is just a free demo uh, that I'm playing. That you can pick up on itch.io. Um, it's, uh, so it's still early on in their development. And I, and I recognize that. But... Um, it's, uh, it suffers from what I see a lot of these early space games suffering from, which is A, there's no targeting that I can figure out here. So it's very easy to lose sight of an enemy that you were, you were chasing down. Um, B, it's very hard to tell where you're getting shot from, where the incoming damage is coming from. And then C, it suffers from, ooh, we got hit by something there. I have no idea what it was. Um, B, it suffers from something that I see, unfortunately, a lot of, ooh, I got hit there. A lot of uh, indie devs suffer from. <laughs> and uh, it's, 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 it's becoming to a point where it's probably, it probably should be classified as a medical condition by, <laughs> By the the uh, <laughs> I, I, like the eight uh, not the ADA the ADA is the dental association uh, you know by the, the medical dudes <laughs> the medical dudes have nothing better to do than classify things oh, oh yeah that was that was a thing um, let's let's jump back into another quick battle before we go into the missions here. Uh, but you'd notice that there's uh, occasionally you're seeing some like blockiness on the screen and that is not YouTube my friends that is actually happening um, uh, this dev suffers from what a lot of early a lot of any devs suffer from and it's called it, 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 it's called uh, uh, shader shader uh, I, oh I had a whole name for it too before I started now I've, I've completely lost my train of thought um, Shader psychosis, <laughs> or something similar. Uh, basically, they've fallen prey to the shader seduction. That's what I was going to call it. Yes, shader seduction. It's it's a really it's a it's a rough thing to have. Um, it, it manifests itself in several ways. One of those is let's throw as many shaders into the game early on as we possibly can because hey. All you gotta do is compile them, right? You just got you go on these websites, these these shady little websites, you know, and it's late at night, and you're like, oh, I don't really want to fix a bug right now. I want to do something something new for the game, and you think, oh, 
you know, let's let's look on this 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 site that I that I my friend said there's like got good stuff on it, and you know, just for science, you know what I mean? And then there's all these like shaders there, and they're like, oh, they're like, like you know, come on, baby, you want me? You know you want me? You know, look at look at all the moves I can do. Look at all the look at all the all the stuff that I can put on the screen, and then they get caught up in it, and suddenly you've got like bloom and and motion blur and you've got this thing that apparently whenever I take any kind of damage it makes the entire screen blocky in fact it's making the screen blocky even when I don't take any damage which is hilarious um, I actually no no joke when I first started the game up and I and I jumped into the into the first mission uh, I couldn't even play it because the screen was was completely like it looked like I was watching a 240p video. Like I just, it, it, it was unplayable. Um, that seems to have cleared up somehow. I don't know. I guess just stopping and starting the game a couple times has caused that to kind of clear up a little bit. I mean, it was under options here. You can see a visual damage intensity. I have it all the way down. But if I crank this baby up, man, you will not. It hurts. <laughs> it hurts a lot. Um, Let's go into a mission. All these are most. These two are medium difficult. This one's hard. We're not going to get very far in them because the whole game is kind of rough around the edges. But I, I would expect that from something this early. But it, it's it pains me when I see games this early on that are like go. They have like all these shaders and everything, and I'm like, man, if you had spent that time finding that with making your mechanics in the game actually work we'd have a much nicer game to show off here you know what I mean it's just it's it's crazy uh, there was a game there was a um, what was it a game the other day that I was I was playing off camera to try to get to a hang of uh, City of Brass maybe yeah I think it was City of Brass and I go into the options menu and literally there's like five options there in a row that I was like, oh yeah, I'm just gonna turn all these off. It was like motion blur, um, uh, what was it? Uh, chromatic aberration, um, uh, bloom, and uh, um, uh, what, uh, uh, distance. What was that distance thing? Um, object uh, distance are fuzzier. Uh, I, I can't think of the name of it now. And I'm like, why would I ever turn any of that crap on? Like, it, it, it kills me to see it. Oh, it kills me to see that in, like, a first-person shooter. It's like, yes, here's a... You sure you want, like, the distance, um... Um... Uh, blurry... Blurriness on? You want everything at a distance to look blurry? <laughs> it's like, uh, no. This is a first-person shooter. I want everything to be crystal clear so I can see what the hell I'm shooting at. <laughs> you know, it's just... It's stuff like that. This this game unfortunately suffers from a little bit of that. It's not. It hasn't gone quite to that extreme, but you can see, like everything kind of hurts a little bit. Like all these lights are a little bit too, a little bit too neon. Uh, they're flickering a little too much because you know they, there's this crappy shader that's kind of put a pall on everything here. Like, it just, it, you know, this early on, you don't want this stuff really in the game this early on. Like, it's okay to put it in later, but early on, you want people to see your game. <laughs> you want them to see what, what's going on. It's like, it's the old, um, I mentioned this a couple times. Um, there was, I have the uh, director's cut of um, Spaceballs, and uh, one of the... Um, special features on the DVD uh, was the producers talking about how you know when I, they, they came in and uh, you know the, the, it was all lit like it was like you know moody lighting and all that stuff like you know like the dark sci-fi stuff that you see nowadays it was all lit like that they came in and like um, you guys realize that uh, we're doing a comedy here right <laughs> like I, I like you know the the lighting's fine and all, but uh, honestly, I I want to see I want to see those I want to see the walls <laughs> I want to see the walls that I paid for and all that stuff and they had to go and relight the whole thing so it was nice bright lighting and you could see what was going on and all that stuff. It, it's the same thing with this. It's like you know I get that 
you might be using you might be using non-final models and stuff like that and they might not look very good and you're trying to kind of hide the fact that the models don't look very good by throwing a bunch of shaders up there but honestly it makes the entire quality of your game reduce it makes it look like it's amateur hour you know what i mean it's like just own up the fact that you you've got placeholder art you just say it in there it's like art assets are placeholder right now you know done <laughs> you don't have to cover them up with nonsense and um unfortunately right now uh, this game as you can see the it's very basic at the moment so it's still very early which is fine but the mechanics are not particularly smooth or or easy to deal with um it's um you can't see anything um at range it's hard to it's hard to aim at anything i'm using the controller the controller is actually more tolerable than the mouse and keyboard i'll, I'll say that much the mouse um if you, if you use the mouse for this uh it does not feel like it's one-to-one -one attached to the window like it, it feels like either mouse acceleration is still on or there's like a huge dead zone that even though you've got the dead zone turned down it's still there kind of thing like it feels like it feels like the the ship is not in sync with the mouse movement at all like it's not you're not you can move to the right and then it moves way further to the right than you expected or way less fur further to the right than you expected kind of thing um the controller feels a little bit better um still not quite there um everything is kind of difficult to see like mostly because there's so much bloom it's hard to line targets up there's no target tracking so i can't like say hey i want to target this guy or i want to lock onto this guy there's no lead indicators like for a game like this you would kind of expect there to be like a lead indicator to be like hey you've targeted this guy here's where you gotta shoot to actually hit him kind of thing because otherwise it's very hard to see what what's going on um those kinds of things and you know it's still version 0 0.4.3 so again very early here and it's a free demo just to kind of kick the tires and see what what's good and what's not um they are they are doing this sort of linux first initiative where this game will work on linux and they actually compile it first to linux and then to uh, cross compile it to windows and all that stuff so um you know that's all good stuff uh there's nothing uh, nothing particularly wrong with that it's just uh yeah they they need to they need to spend less time on on the uh on the shaders and more time on just figuring out their mechanics and getting some smooth um actions going on here um the missions i would love to show you the missions but they're so ridiculously hard that there's no point um, they really should have put like a mission in there that was easy in addition to some of the mediums and the hard ones. I, I get that they might be wanting to put a, out, out a, the notion that this is going to be a hard game and that's fine, but it's hard right now for the wrong reasons. Like you can't tell where incoming fire is coming from. You can't hardly see half the time. Every time you take even a little bit of damage, the whole screen goes crazy. Um, the... There's a giant square box in the middle of the of the of the um, you know HUD there that you would expect to be where your weapons are, but actually your weapons are in the crosshairs that move up and out of that box. And then you also don't know distance. Uh, and this is not the first game that's that's had this problem. Where there's been other games I've played where it's like you don't know how far out something is, so you don't know if your if your guns are actually going to hit. What you're what you're aiming at or if you're not if you're not close enough or how close you have to get that kind of thing so yeah it's gonna take some it's gonna, it's it's very early it's gonna take some time but it might be something you want to put on your radar for for later on and again this is a free demo you can download uh from itch.io i will leave links uh down in the description as i always do uh so you can do your own due diligence on the title and uh thanks so much for watching everybody and I will see you next time.